Planning is the process of determining the organization's objectives and deciding how we're going to go about accomplish them. Planning is a crucial activity for it designs the map and lays the groundwork for all the other functions. It involves forecasting events and determining the best course of action from a set of options and choices that could be made, deciding which one becomes reality. The plan itself specifies what should be done, by whom, where, when, and how. But before an organization can plan a course of action, it must determine what it wants to achieve. There are several terms and aspects of that that are often used in the planning process. A mission or a mission statement is the organization's fundamental purpose, its basic philosophy. It seeks to answer the question, what business are we in? A well-developed mission statement, no matter what the industry or size of business, will answer five basic questions. Who are we? Who are our customers? What is our operating philosophy, our basic beliefs, values, and ethics? What are our core competencies and competitive advantages? And what are our responsibilities with respect to being a good steward of our various resources, environmental, financial, human, intellectual, knowledge, those sorts of things? A goal is the result that a firm wishes to achieve. A company always has many goals, which illustrates a comp the complex nature of a business. A goal has three key components. An attribute sought, something you're trying to get. That's such as profits, for example, or some other achievement. Customer satisfaction, maybe product quality. Then there's a target, which has to be achieved, such as the goal in the of sales or the extent of management training to be achieved, the, um, the level of performance, the high level of quality, those kinds of things, and a time frame for achieving it. This is the goal to be achieved, the target and the time frame. Objectives, that's the ends that the results are desired to be, to be achieved by the organization. These derive from the organization's mission. Mission from achieve our mission, we need to meet certain objectives. We do that by attaining certain goals that lead to those objectives. A business's objectives may be elaborate or they may be simple. Common objectives relate to profit, competitive advantage, efficiency, and growth. The principal difference between goals and objectives is that objectives are generally stated in such a way that they are measurable. Plans specify what should be done, by whom, where, when, and how. There are three general types of plans for meeting objectives, strategic, tactical, and operational. Strategic plans are those that are intended to establish long range performance for the organization, long range objectives, and provide an overall strategy that allows the firm to fulfill its mission. One might think of them as higher level strategies that allow the objectives to be realized within the environment. Underneath those, one would have tactical plans. But strategic plans generally covers periods ranging from one year to longer, three to five years, perhaps even longer. Some governments plan for many, for many decades they include plans to add new products, to purchase companies, to sell unprofitable segments of a business, to issue stock for financing, to move into international markets, for example, those kinds of activities. Strategic plans must take into account the organization's capabilities and resources. You can't achieve an objective if you don't have the skills and capabilities to do so. You can't win a marathon if you are unable to to, uh, to run or walk at, at that, that type of a distance. So an organization has to d define its strategy based upon what is reasonable that it can achieve based upon its objectives. This is particularly true in a changing business environment and with uh, where organizational objectives might change. Plans should be market driven, matching customers' desires for value with the operating capabilities and processes of the firm, including its human resources. Let me reiterate that. When you think about plans, what you're doing is you're trying to match what's needed in the marketplace, customers' desires and, and, and needs, including ones they might not yet know about, 
with the operational capabilities, processes, and resources that one can bring to bear on, the, on those problems and solve them for customers. Apollo Management, and uh, for example, and Metropolis made the strategic plan to purchase the hosted snack business after the firm declared bankruptcy. That's an example of thinking we need to enter a new market, we need to expand, so you buy another company that might help you address that marketplace. Strategy is the longer term. It involves the organization positioning itself better within the marketplace, within its ecosystem over time. In order to achieve strategies, you need tactics. We'll talk about that next. Tactical plans are short range and they're designed to implement the activities and objectives specified in the strategic plans. These plans, which usually cover a period of one year or less, help keep the organization on the course established in the strategic plan. Because tactical plans allow the organization to react to changes in the environment while continuing to, fo to focus on the company's overall strategy, management must periodically view, review and update them. Declining performance or failure to meet objectives set out in tactical plans may be one reason for revising them, or potentially a change in strategy may also make, make it reasonable to relook at tactical plans to make sure they're still moving the organization in the right direction. And then there are operational plans. These are the very short term specific actions that specific individuals, work groups or departments need they, they need to accomplish to achieve their tactical plan and ultimately support the strategic plan and the strategic objectives. These apply the details to executing activities in one month, one week, or even a day. For example, when you're, uh, an organization is opening a new, uh, is deciding for expansion, a tactical plan is to open a particular store. An operational plan would be to make sure all the right people are hired, all the right positions are trained, the doors open on time, someone's there to open, someone's there to close, all of those kinds of things are the operational plans supporting the tactical plan of opening a particular restaurant, a particular region, which all supports the strategic plan of expanding geographically into certain markets. So that's one way to think about it. Now, retail store is a good example of this. Retail organi organization with a five-year strategic plan to invest five million in 500, 5 billion in 500 new retail stores may develop tactical plans, each covering one year, specifying how much to spend to set up each new store, where to locate, and when to open each new store. Beyond the tactical plans, they're designed to execute the overall strategic plans, but because of their short-term nature, they are easier to adjust and abandon if necessary as the strategic plan changes or as events change, so one can adjust them for the performance. Returning to our example, though, then the operational plans would specify the schedule for opening a new store, hiring, training, employees, obtaining merchandise, all of the things that we uh, briefly talked about when we were talking about operational plans. One must, not, one must always remember also that there are contingency plans that are necessary, crisis management plans if something occurs. So another element of planning is being prepared for unexpected or perhaps um, low probability, but also, but always possible events. This is crisis management and, continu and contingency planning. This deals with potential disasters such as product tampering, oil spills, fire, earthquake, those kinds of things, or even unethical or illegal conduct by one or more employees. Unfortunately, many businesses don't have updated contingency plans to handle the types of crises their companies might encounter. Uh, like for example, hacking, many companies, this is a new, a new risk, so many companies haven't really prepared a contingency plan for having some of their systems hacked. Approximately 51% of companies have outdated recovery and business continuity plans in case something happens. Businesses that have correct and well thought out contingency plans tend to respond more effectively when problems occur and they're able to deal with them more quickly than those that lack such planning. Uh, in the next lecture, we'll talk about some of the other elements of what is the five the five main areas of management
We'll pick that up in lecture three.